today. Welcome to a very special episode of the NK News podcast. The first time we're doing one in video, and we have a special guest today, Nick Bonner, all the way from Beijing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for joining us here. And this is your show, isn't it? This is uh, your own personal exhibition we've come to see. This is a collection of ephemera that uh, is now actually, it it was basically in boxes, and lots and lots of boxes, but is now a carefully catalogued uh, exhibition uh, piece, yeah. How did this all begin? Did you just like, I mean, who, I know people who collect labels and cans of food that they've eaten, but they're normally called hoarders or pack rats, but how did... <laughs> it's not, I'm not far from, from that, that, <laughs> that, 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 that nomenclature, that. The, we uh, basically, I went into North Korea the first trip and you... What year was that? That was 93. Okay. And uh, we flew in on Air Corio and the first thing that they hand out is, you know, the, 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 the Air Corio... Uh, Girls put, you know, give you a little sort of plastic cup and they send in a little coffee sachet and then you get a little sugar sachet in there. And I thought it would be sort of sort of typical socialist white blank with sugar stamped on it. Right. But it was actually a sort of very frivolous design all over it. Right. And I thought, that's odd, frivolity with a country I don't associate frivolity with. Right. Um, and uh, that went straight into the pocket. And from then on, over the years, uh, everything sort of ended up sort of being transported that way. So... All the objects here are, are sort of picked up by hand, totally valueless, but once you put a mass of them together, you end up with a, a posh collection. Posh collection. Now, you have quite a, a, a developed eye for design, uh, and that's from your background, is it? Yeah, I'm a, a landscape architect by training. Right. Thank you for that. That's yeah. very kind. It's quite, yeah, it's, it's uh, and in this aesthetic sense, I suppose, honed under the sensibilities of uh, socialist realism art in North Korea. It's the only style they can do. So, in fact, there's a propaganda girl here in pure socialist realism form. Yeah, and one behind you. Yeah, but what's, what's lovely is the graphics, though, they have much more of a personality. There's... They're, they're influenced by, I suppose, uh, historic uh, influences, such yeah. as you, you'll see the, you know, the pine trees, the Kumgang Mountains, the, you know, storks, etc. But then you get influences uh, from Russia coming in, and then more recently China. Um, but then there's also th- a lot of the sort of things are embedded with, I'll show you some examples mm. later, but with elements that are very North Korean, like the the steel works and as soon as anyone sees a matchbox for example with steel works on it that means you know the Choloma movement this is right. a strong reliable match etc so that's the sort of twist you. it won't break well yeah I know you might get a speedy speedy matchbox campaign but uh, oh yeah of course the speed battles yeah yeah now when I look at uh, say for example the uh, the box of uh, sweet smelling drops or the uh, the cans of apples and things uh, you know, I don't have much of a, a developed um, vocabulary for this. So I just think, oh, it's retro. You know, it, yeah. it's retro to me. Do, do you see, uh, is retro... You know, but the, these, are, these actual designs are, I mean, are retro. These are from the 80s and 90s. Ah. And what happened in 2002, and I'll show you later, is yeah. when two things happened. 2002 was the big... Uh, economic change in North Korea so competition came in and and I think Koreans realized they had to up their game Mm -hmm. but also new um, sort of with these new products they had to compete but they also had digital design so products this is a sort of era of hand handmade graphics and, and, and that's what I love about it it's that very very personal touch so you began seeing computer-aided design from 2002? Yeah, about then. And, and, quite and, early, I mean, yeah. earlier than I expected. Yeah, it, it, it's, it was the early sort of botch jobs of Photoshop, you ah. know, and you, you actually started seeing it in propaganda posters as well. It was, quite, it, was, they were, it was all new, fun, you know, let's play with all the gimmicks. But nowadays, the, the products are very professional. Mm. Um, nowadays, there's, there's, there's very similar... You can immediately see, recognise that if it's, you know, for, if it's, it's fairy liquid sort of version of... The, the North Korean version of the Chinese sort of goldfish um, fairy liquid sort of stuff. Yeah, what is fairy detergent. liquid? Wait, oh, is it washing, washing up? detergent. What? I see. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I'm doing, doing, some doing sort. some promotion now for hands <laughs> that do dishes. Um, no, but it's, it's, so, it's, it's all changed. So this collection, was, I was just lucky enough to you know, collect before the whole thing stopped. Right, okay, so you had no idea when you started all this, you really weren't... No, it just, no, it wasn't thinking of anything, it just, you know, it, it's like if you send kids to the countryside or to the beach, they'll pick up stones or yeah. bits and pieces, it's the same instinct. Um, and then having uh, some form of aesthetic sense, I, and I would then start collecting pieces. Right. And I suppose I collected them 
the reason I collected them was for sort of three sort of things. One was, you know, if it was like with the kids, there's a ticket there of the kids we filmed in uh, the state of, uh, state of mind, the mass games, yes. and this was the ticket that you know the parents had when they were allowed to go and watch their kids uh-huh. perform. So that meant something, and it's it's aesthetically it's okay, so, yeah. but it's not that interesting. Some things just because of the pure beauty, and some things because the sort of ethnological sort of background that you can you, they're sort of loaded with. Like North Korean metaphors, if you like, you know, you see that and you know there's a story behind it. Um, so th- that's the sort of how the collection happened, and it just built up and built up. Now I'm also a, a collector. I collect different things, but it, once you get a, a big enough collection, it's hard to work out how do I organise this? Do I go for thematic or chronological? Yeah. Or so how did you? Well, yours is easier because you, you, you collect North Korean comics and, and not only and yes. is, oh, <laughs> there's more, yeah. Um, but but that, yeah, that's totally easy. This this stuff. No, this was because it's such a personal. Um, collection it, it really was all random and so then you you end up when you're sort of pushing sort of 2,000 odd objects into the few hundred that we have here yeah. it's just pulling out a few favorites or something that will tell more of uh, a story so this is only a small selection of, of what you actually have yes <laughs> do you have yeah. a, a house back in Beijing uh, just for the collection I have a partner and she's not very pleased with the, the sort of the, you know boxes and of rooms and things yeah when I if I die smelling you know with cats running around right. with boxes that's that's my <laughs> that's the future <laughs> Are there still beds to sleep on in that house? I mean, that's we, the, we, the sleep on, we, we actually sleep on the products. No, actually, oh. We actually sleep actually on top of them. A lot of the product as we've got ah, is underneath. Okay. That's, yeah. that's good. At least you've got storage space. That's good. <laughs> uh, now, at what point did you think, I could make an exhibition of this and open it up in London? Um, I sent a, a sort of a, a, like a rough collage with a friend. To, uh, we, we sort of pieced something together. Because visually, you can already see this. You know, the colours yeah. are amazing. Only the Korean Peninsula will shove these sort of bright sort of turquoises with lime greens with everything else so as a sort of colourful piece of diary making if you like it was wonderful so we made this sort of mock up I sent it to a friend to ask if she could ask around and and lo and behold Fiden she had a friend at Fiden said just send it to me we'll have a look and they said look this is fantastic and they published it then the house of illustration yeah the pink and then it became um, and yeah that's done Really well. I think there's something very. I mean, we like, you know, we like retro, and that has a sort of retro feel. Interestingly enough, I showed it to North Korean friends uh, living in Beijing and, and around. I should tell uh, listeners and viewers back home that this book is available on Amazon. Is it? Da, 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 it is. It's right. called Made in. Uh, made in North Korea. Made in North Korea. A lovely pink uh, coffee table book. Thank you. Very so much. tell us about. So I should have brought my copy for a signature. Only one copy? Anyhow. Um, anyway, how did the North Koreans react? They, 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 so, so she got this pink book and was saying, you know, why have you collected this? This yeah. is rubbish. And then slowly started going, wow, I remember this as a child, as you and I would, you know, yeah. if I was young, blackjack toffees, fairy liquid, as of, you know, the original right. bottle. Um, you, you, you start having a vested interest and, and, and putting your memories back into them. Oh, yeah. So, so for them, and that was, that was probably the most, you know, if, if there was a moment, that yep. was it of them them looking at it. So it's more of a for them, it's more of a nostalgia thing. Totally, it's sort of going yeah. back in time. Yeah, I used to have these sweet smelling drops when I was a child. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's a that that, that is special because it's products. I mean, also North Korea. You know, th- th- this is sort of the way this works is. This is a product saying, you know, this is sweets and inside are sweets, whereas our products in the West, mm. we sort of, there's the whole advertising, you know, eat this sweet and you'll look good to girls, right. you'll be taller, more handsome, use this toothpaste, you'll have a smile like this. Exactly. <laughs> well, she's been using it for a long time. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think that's the, the difference here is it's just pure, this is the product, but let's put pretty decoration around yeah. it. But it, it, it's a little bit, as someone said, it's a little, it's a little bit like North Korea in respect that, you know, the, the outside packaging is great, but the contents maybe don't live up to the, to the, uh, the promise. You mean that the drops are not so sweet smelling after? Ah. Uh, uh. Now, how was the show received in London when it was first put on there? London was, was a, a massive sellout. It was, um, I, I think there's a, there's a lack of, this is, I think with anything to do with North Korea, we, we tend to come at it from a very sort of black and white, view that we we you know we know what's good and we know what's bad yeah. and and that's it that fits the sort of media vein and this sort of is part of that area that's that's in between it's all it's the human touch if yeah. you like and i think at Korea we've always been 
trying to do that with projects. We, we do tourism, but we also do an enormous amount of cultural projects, which is to show that, uh, you know, behind this system, there are individuals carrying out their daily life, getting up, trying to get kids to school, etc. And this, this really, really does sort of um, hit, hit a beat with them, and, yeah. and, and more so with actually Koreans. Um, it, it's for them, the show, having the show here, it, mm. it sort of says, well, you know, they also have washing products and there's a lot right. of, you know, we, we also sort of brought up, we had similar packaging sort of 30 years ago. Now, have Koreans here in Seoul said to you, oh, some of these products look very similar to ours, you know, here? Yeah, the, 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 that's more in the, more in the modern, more in the contemporary things, the slight onion rings are very similar to the right. onion rings. So there's obviously been some borrowing. I, I think we probably can guess who came first with the, the designs, but there's been a lot of emulation, I would mm -hmm. say. Uh, but these, these ones, no, these are very, the influence of, of, of the, the sort of pre-digital stuff is very much North Korean with, with, you know, like I said before, small influences from their history and from possibly even the occupation of Japan, 1910 to 45, there's, there's the, you know, but their colorways and everything else is just very Korean. Now, I realize, uh, not very professional of me, that I haven't properly introduced you. You are, in fact, the CEO and founder of oh, Cordial so Tours, aren't you? I, I, that's yeah, the, uh, that's the, grand. The longest, running, longest existing and, and largest uh, tour company specializing in uh, North Korea. Yeah, I mean, and it's basically uh, a very little bit me and mostly my colleagues uh, at, at the office. Are you sort of like a figurehead, like the Queen now, and then I, I, everyone I, else I, does the work. I like to see myself as the Queen, no. exactly that. Okay. Simon Cockrell is number two, and Jamie and all the other gang are all sort of very busy, sort of, yeah, sort of whilst I go off on my little tours. Doing this kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Now, you, you went on your first trip in 93, and when did you say, oh, I can start a, a company doing this? I think what we, in, in I was lecturing at Leeds uh, Metropolitan University in landscape architecture, and had been offered a job to be a lecturer. Came over with a, my friend Josh to North Korea. Mm -hmm. Basically, he'd been studying Chinese with a North Korean who'd gone back to Pyongyang and said, look, we, we've set up we've opened to tourism I think it was in about 1987 and then there's no one coming so can you bring people ah. so that was the first thing and then after that first visit it was such a revelation such a you know th this is a place that no one knows about uh, regards landscape architecture and architecture then let's ha let's you know have a go here let's have a and so the only way I could get another visa was to do a, a tourism visa. We didn't have enough money to go in on our own, so but we brought a few people with us, ah, and then it started. Coming. Yeah, it was it was early crowd, and the crowd were the tourists. Oh, yeah, right. so it just then developed. But then, of course, it was the arduous march, this um, starvation in North Korea, and we got involved in other projects, introducing some humanitarian uh, groups, and also doing more projects with North Korean friends. Right. So it's it, yeah, it's developed. It's still tiny, and it's still you know the, I think the the foreign visitors is still around 4,000 tourists a year, which is like Bognor Regis on a, on a wet Sunday. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it's, it is, I mean, of those people who go, it's one of the most fascinating experiences, certainly. Now, full disclosure, my first trip to North Korea ah. was with your company back in 2010. That's good. Uh, and again, uh, two years ago for the marathon, and I'll be going again hopefully this April. Yeah, I've never seen a, a, a runner quite like it. You're fantastic. There's probably one of the fastest speeds we've had, actually. Wow, well, yeah. You know, <laughs> I'd like to keep modest about that. All right, so should we go and look at some of the items yeah, that you let's can come do and that. talk about? Lovely. Great. Tell us about these posters here. Uh, they look like the same thing. They are the same thing. This is the original. This is a, in, in, in uh, basic gouache, which would, I suppose you'd know as I water, don't. What water, is gouache? watercolour. Ah, so, but that's sort of a fancy word for watercolour. <laughs> now, what's this? Like, it looks like a frozen block so of fish. So it's a nice frozen block of fish from the, from the East Sea. But the reason why we put these two together is yeah. this is the original. So this is like the maquette, if you like. And then this is the printed version. Oh. The Koreans don't have to see this work as art, so it's, it's not signed. They know the artist. That comes up, there'll be a little print run name on the bottom right. here. Um, so it's not really seen as artwork, but this is then printed offset litho, like a, the old sort of printing press where they have to line up the colours. Right, and is, then it, they, is it four? Uh, what it four four uh, full colour prints, yeah. Four colour prints. Yeah. And then they, they send that off. Um, basically, you know, they'll make a print run of it, and, and that could go off to sort of anything from 20,000 upwards, from right. what I gather. Wow. But 
also, if a poster, occasionally you get sort of hand-painted propaganda posters, for example, turn off the water, you'll get that on the, as you go up a stairwell in a North Korean home. Yeah. A propaganda artist will go and paint sort of, so, sort of more um, social messaging, sort of like turn um, off the electricity, this, right. that, what have you. Or they might be turned into big propaganda sort of billboards and hand-painted. But you have to be, I mean, they're very difficult to get hold of. You can buy this there's just copies of this artwork in in now in the some of the studios or some of the sort of really? tourist venues. Oh, so they're selling these to tourists now? Not these, no. Okay. These are the original. They sell well, not copies, these, of, yeah, copies of them. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm fascinated by those processes. So you've got fishing, the fish go down some sort of a conveyor belt, end up on another conveyor belt, then they're frozen into a block, but, yeah, then they're they, in a can called gogitok, which well, yeah. I don't even think we have that in South Korea. I think these are, these are, diff these are basically your different products. You know, f fish in a block is obviously a classic way of delivering your, f your fish sure. down over to Pyongyang. And then so, over here we've got, it looks like to me it's yeah, saying uh, uh, beef of the sea yeah, or yeah, sea, sea, beef. sea beef. Yeah, I think there's a pellets to... Uh, yeah, fills you up. It's actually why I'm much taller than you. But so you're eating these pellets? I'm eating ah. those pellets, exactly. And it looks like she is as well. She's a healthy young lass. Yeah, she is very healthy. Yeah. And it's good for babies as well. You've got the whole lot there. And, you know, products for beauty, etc. Now, I see from the label here that these are, this is from 1984, yeah. this uh, particular run of posters. Um, when you came along in the 90s, were they still around? Yeah, posters were available at that time. You could sort of pick them up and... and Propaganda posters, you know, have never stopped. In but fact, I mean, even ones from ten years ago, they were still, you know, available for uh, for sale. Um, yeah, it was, it was more. Recycle, throw them no, away or no, 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 no. Okay. It's all stored. What right. have you? But very difficult. To, I mean, now it's not not possible to get hold of. Now we should do a, a quick pan around the room because yeah. there's did, so many. Did, show this us room was really to show. This is how the sort of state, uh, you know, presents itself, and and then we then go into a room which is a much more. Uh, this sort of much more personal sort of room. So this is the state presenting the products of how it puts you know products out to the people to encourage them to produce more right. or to encourage them to buy Korean products. Now I notice you don't have any of the uh, violently anti-American uh, propaganda posters. No, no. This, but this is the <laughs> you're in the wrong exhibition for oh, that. I see. <laughs> yeah, this is this is an ex you know because this is linked to the merchandise. Than the ah right. The so products. this is really yeah uh, yeah North Korea's. Commercial. Uh, this is this commercial propaganda line right. exactly. So if you if you but if you come over here, you'll also yeah. see so an old style, and this is a more contemporary style. So this is this is actually acrylic. You see, it's got a bit oh, of a gloss right. to it. So these are again some some of these are competition pieces in yeah. in, in Pyongyang and around the country. They have competitions for for members of the public and semi-professional artists. Now this one's um, unfinished. Which no, is no, no, that, that's, no, that is that is no, finished. They haven't coloured any animals. <laughs> Just you then put the numbers on. That yeah, comes later. That's quite good. I like that. Very good. Right. Uh, now, I'd really like this one, uh, that it's uh, uh, not advertising a product so much, but a, uh, a hygienic culture yeah. for, uh, for the streets, for the village, for the house. Exactly. Hygiene. Floral, floral city, floral city of the You've got somebody sweeping out here. Yeah. You have the, uh, the housewife tending to her flowers, the, the, the lonely goldfish. Exactly. Right. And in the background, the big city. Uh, so do you see a lot of sort of hygiene as a as a theme in, in posters? It, it is, but I mean, again, it's a link to products because if you go around the factories in North Korea, everyone is absolutely immaculately dressed, ah. hair hair up in you know bands and what have you. Yes. So this this whole selection really is about is about how they. I mean, you go to factories and, and they're not you know, they're not short staff. They've got a lot of people doing a lot of stuff. Right. And and uh, we went recently to uh, a fantastic factory to the um, to the. Uh, ginseng factory in uh, Kaesong and uh, immaculate just just like a sort of another you know great film set but nothing I thought going ginseng on. was grown it was gro it's grown and then the, the processing is ah. this wonderful little machine and they at the end they actually not only show you all the ginseng products but you get a little glass jar which you open up and it's full of very strong sort of ginseng wow. sort of soju wonderful oh nice way to start the day but yeah it's, it's just sort of the whole process of how um, a lot of these posters it should have show us how the, you know the products for the next rooms are going to be. Yes, made. yes. Go, take us to the next yeah. room and show. Us. Here we've got. Uh, uh, well, there's a lot going on in this room. Where do we want to start? So th th this is. Uh, I suppose we start. This we should is start the, over here because this is. This is the beginning. This is this is uh, one of these. Is the very first sugar packets and uh, that we collected. But this is a. So this is basically 25 years of um, air choreo condiments. Right. Um, I think I love the pepper, you know, the design. You just thought, why on earth was that going on? And there's, I think there's this, this is the, the sugar and milk 
that was happening. Would they still be edible? <laughs> it's not the part of this, my collection. And the, here, here is, uh, in fact, most of the... Uh, there, there, is a, there is a danger, of which of the tins, I eventually got to the stage of actually, these are the tin labels here, uh -huh. where I thought it was probably better to take the, the food out of the tins because the tins were changing shape. Oh, my goodness. So, so for decades you so had these cans of yeah. pork and flatfish and, and pheasant. And, and pheasant, yeah, right. exactly. Now, I really like this, um, this toothbrush box here. Yeah, it's is, is it made of tin? Or what is it? Yeah, it's, it's a, a sort of, a, it, it's, a, no, it's, a, it's a little tin toothbrush box for, for your travels from Pyongyang down to Kaesong. It's very attractive. Yeah, and a fan which used to come, a fan that used to be used on air cryo um, sort, of, sort of July time, you know, when it's sort of steam, oh, yes. steaming and things to, yeah, you wouldn't need that to calm you down. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, <laughs> you don't need that. And this is Cho, my first flight ever was with oh, was Chosun Minghang. Ah. Uh, that was the, it, it was actually air cryo, but they still were using the old tickets. So is that an airline that's gone bankrupt now? Chosun Minghang just turned its name over into Air Koryo. Oh, it just changed. Okay. So, yeah, there's a, the various reasons for that, but we'll go into that later. Now, I see you've got a, a couple of speaking Korean books here. Yeah, this um, is the one with that wonderful saying, you know, Americans are wolves in sheep's clothing, hmm. which is... Right. Can you sure. say that in Korean? No, I can't, oh. actually. So I'll rather than actually learn from the books, you just put them under glass <laughs> just all these keep years. Them. Sadly, yeah, yeah, <laughs> slowly, slowly. And you've got it for the French too, right? I have. I've actually, I can say it in French, but I, I'd be probably more... Um, yeah, this is, this is the lovely thing. Also, sort of, they had, you know, these not for the French-speaking things, but actually for, you know, again, for Vietnam and many African countries for ah, visitors. the former colonies. Because it's sort of, you, it, it, it's non-aligned movement right. groups. Not, so I think, yeah, there's a lot of film posters in French and, and subtitled in French. It wasn't for the, the, it wasn't for the Parisian... Right. Uh, decadence. It was. It was for the the uh, the provinces in in in. Uh, and all the Francophone African countries. Exactly. Example. Yeah. All right. Well, let's have a look at these cans over here, cans and uh, and bottles. Uh, now, uh, as you were saying earlier, they're not very. Um, they're, they're very sort of plain in their descriptions. Like this is, it's just pear, it's just salmon trout, yeah. it's just flatfish. Uh, over here, it's simply pheasant. I mean, do they try to? Uh, uh, I know this isn't about the design, but do they actually try to, um, are they flavoured somehow? Like, a, is there actually cooking going on, or is it simply just, this is pheasant meat in a can? Yeah. It's pheasant meat in the can. So there's no recipe there, there's no, no sauce or anything? Uh, no, I mean, no. Yeah, no you, you, you get it out, it's a big lump of meat, and it's, oh, uh, okay. yeah, it, it, it's, it, and the pears are in a sort of, you know, a, a sugary sauce, but mm. it's, um, it's an acquired taste. Now, the, uh, the South Korean uh, viewers of our show will... Uh, Note, yeah, of course, that uh, in, uh, in North Korea, the word for squid, which here in South Korea is ojingo, they use nakji in exactly. uh, North Korea, and then the opposite is true. So if you had a can of octopus, that would be called ojingo. Uh, the Mel question spotted, is, yeah. what happens when the two Koreas unite? Who gets to keep the <laughs> Who gets right? to keep, exactly. <laughs> which I think they're probably, actually, what the easiest way would be to actually sort of swap the fish, you know, get the fish to mate together, get the, and then oh, you, cross you have a cross-breed. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's uh -huh. But if over here, if I show you, oh, this is quite fun. This is, this is, I think, use, the use of the oh liquor in candies. But what's this is actually, I think, is for an export. I mean, or has some form of an export, and hence the sort of ah. the made in Korea, etc. But whereas this, I know, is a very much the taebong sort of chocolates, a very much a right. North Korean delight. Now, are they any good? They, they again, the packaging is probably more interesting than the, the mm. contents. But now people in North Korea remember these, and you know, remember these on a special treat. But what's interesting is they use the English there as a way, I think, of just sort of saying, "Look, we're we're sort of slightly upmarket." Okay, we're modern. It, yeah. Well, no, we, it's more. You know, it's more just to say, "Look, we've got fancy writing." This, this again ah. is an old packet. This is one of the first chocolate boxes I was given. This in uh, this is '94. And we were, I, was, you know, I remember the story of being given that and eating them, some of them. I like this, yeah. uh, this handwritten orange candy over here on this yeah. board. For some reason, is it the sea? But something in it reminds me of uh, Coca-Cola. That's very true. That's interesting. I haven't looked at that one. But yeah, it's also the way they play with calligraphy. And, mm. and it, it's, it's this, there's a total design school. Their design is stunning. Their use of colors is remarkable. Um, I, I absolutely, you know, I really do adore or all of these and in fact you start seeing here you know here you've got the traditional um uh, here you've got the sort of obviously pekdu which is not just you know a, 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 an object of great beauty the big right. mountain up in the north but also the birthplace of the korean people and of to the north koreans of the revolution right so uh, and this is the this is the basic 
So these are cigarette packs. Yeah, the Pakistan cigarette. But but yeah. it, what's interesting is this is sort of the Rothmans version. This is North Korean's sort of version of Rothmans. Uh -huh. it's, it's got pine for the health that uh -huh. the cigarettes give you, the the strength and you know wonderment of Mount Pak do. And it's got the bit of gold to give it a bit of class. Yeah, these very shiny ones are clearly quite modern yeah. compared to some of the earlier ones. And then, but also cigarettes that have gone out of fashion may come back in. Hannah uh -huh. from 2000s, so obviously with Kim Dae Jung. Um, All right. Cigarettes for your construction worker. So they have market segmentation in the North Korean they, cigarette market. They, 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 they do. And okay. this is the thing: is there's choice. You know, mm -hmm. the people. So it's it, this is you know. But people say, well, I didn't realise there was so much choice. But I mean, beers have always been better than the mm -hmm. beers in the south, and for a long time, no, got, the North Korea had a had a yeah. had a, <laughs> a, lot, a, lot, a lot better uh, choice. Now I see here that the Pyongyang Cordial Hotel uh, had or has its own brand of cigarettes. Were they yeah. only sold there? Um, no, they were sold throughout, but you can, it's the same, but also with tins later, I'll show you, Air Curry have done the same now. It's basically because they can right. take over a, a market, and so they now, Air Curry have taxis, petrol stations, wow. drinks, the whole lot. Yeah, it's a uh, passing. Now, I've got to this take a... steel, sorry, that's the... That's the steel. There's the ah, the, the steel box. matches. Yeah. The, no, they're not made of steel. They're just no, called well, steel. Well, I think they're pretty close. Strong Kangchol steel. matches. They're the, the most reliable ones next to the Pyongyang Railway Pyongyang Station Railway matches. Station, yeah. From the Soviet era, one of the few Soviet remaining buildings left, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Architecture. Now, over here, we've got one of my favourite parts ah. of the collection. Uh, we have to talk about comic books. Well, I'll leave that uh, to you because you, you, are, you are more of a specialist. For me, it's the visual. I, and uh, um, we had a little, the only problem we've had actually was, was bringing in comic books that were about the Korean War. And that doesn't surprise me. And it was amazing, in fact, that the whole exhibition arrived. I think that's the most remarkable thing, is that everything here, that you would never have imagined an exhibition, I think, possible in, in South Korea. Certainly, not just a year ago when tensions were high, but over the, the, the last sort of 20 years, to have this sort of product here for the public to see is, is remarkable. Yeah, I should point out to the, the viewers at home there that, that we have some comics with labels there that explain that uh, these books were refused entry at customs uh, and so they have, um, uh, the, the curators of the exhibition have put up uh, replicas of the comic book, so simply a, a colour photocopy of the front cover rather than the book itself. So the book itself was sent back to London, I guess. And yeah. Now, I find it fascinating. So you say that they're because the books are about the Korean War. Now, I happen to have read almost all of these books, uh, no mean feat. Now, many of them are about the Korean War, but it's only certain random ones that were chosen for non-inclusion uh, yeah. in the... Uh, uh, in the exhibition. So I wonder on what basis the people at the customs office in Incheon said, this one can come in, but this one cannot. Cause yeah, well, they've obviously read them all. I mean, it's no doubt. <laughs> well, it take yeah, a lot of time. <laughs> probably got rid of the boring ones. But there's also this one, I think one of my favourite stories, which you'll know, is the, the, the one of the, uh, the helicopter crash in, uh, the plane crash in Africa. Ah, And where the yes. bad is, where basically the whole, the, 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 the story goes around the, uh, the stay as a group, you'll be fine, looked right. after by us, but if you leave, you'll be taken by the baddies and eaten by crocodiles. I remember in that particular book, there's a, uh, a Catholic priest who later on converts to Juche, doesn't he? Yeah. Is oh, that of, course, of course you would. Is, this is the book exactly, here, isn't it? Yeah, this is the... And here's our, our, hands, our handsome heroes in the other... The, uh, the Snowstorm in the Tropics from yeah, 2001. It's, it a is a, it, it's a classic. Uh, they don't go much for colour. Um, no. At least not at that time. But I've, I've worked with artists. I've, I've been... Actually, commissioning some, we've we've done a recently done a, a series of sort of manga style comics with North Koreans. Really? So yeah, I'll. I'll uh, so you've met some of these actual artists? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's quite. Yeah, it's great. Wow, yeah. that's. I incredible. know. Sorry about that. Oh. Where was <laughs> my email? Exactly. Yeah. But they're great. I mean, they're 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 all sorts. I mean, from students all the way through who who basically, they're also by well, some of these chaps. They're they're the same people who sort of draw. I, I, I used a, one of the comic artists and worked with Huang Inje, who's a liner cut artist, sadly died two years ago, oh. and to produce the coloured works of these. And it's, uh, we did a space series. So it was quite fun. Oh, a science fiction series? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'll, I'll have to, I'll, I'll send you the images. Oh, I'll, in fact, we can use the wonders of television and I can, uh, you can 
you should bring him up on your screen. Yeah, fantastic. So you say it's a series. How many? Uh... I think there were 12, I think it is. Wow, yeah. okay. So it was taking the individual, because they're so beautifully drawn. Yeah. So it was to take one of those individual. We basically gave, there's two types of product we did. One was uh, heroines and villains. We haven't shown the work yet. So we gave the story to students and yeah. they, they, they then developed them. Uh -huh. And then we sort of turned them into lino cuts. Wow. So, I mean, just under two, you know, to work with the artists. And that's what's, again, for me is massively important is that is to meet the Korean people who they're, they're interested in doing something different. Right. Uh, they, they enjoy doing it. But even if it's for their own propaganda, it's they, you know, I'm, they will say to you, I am an artist. I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, it's their profession. It's the same when you're making a film in North Korea. Yeah. You know, they may make propaganda films, but they want to make them to their best because... I'm trained as a cameraman. What do you want me to do? Right, you know, take sort of, in work. So I, I think that sort of things also we tend to forget and sort of dish it and say, oh, well, that's just propaganda. It's, right. it's people's work, people's livelihoods, and they're bloody good at what they do. Now, wrapping paper? Wrapping paper, um, yeah. I, I mean, this is, the, again, it's just this, it's, uh, unless you're really into graphics, this one's got it doesn't mean a lot. Yeah, this is, you've got your, you've got your circus and you've got, the, you've got the old military circus. Ah, yes. Uh, now we're just known as People Circus, the Korea Hotel. Uh, yeah, all sorts of bits and bobs. Do you have a favourite uh, in, in terms of, like... Yeah, the, I mean, the, this is the calligraphy. Is yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah, I love that. <coughs> so you've got, yeah. What do you think they were inspired by in terms of, when they write calligraphy in foreign languages? What uh, sources I think do they, they use? I think they just, you know, they, they, I mean, this, I've never seen that typeset anywhere else. I mean, so that, 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 that's, you know, just them having fun. It's, it's you know, this is, uh, again, these influences, you know, they're not, the, chi the influence of China has only released since products came, started coming over. Mm -hmm. um, 2000, you know, the mid-2000s. But before that, it's really their own, you know, the sources are from historical, maybe a little bit Russian, but not even that many Russian products were getting in. When I was there in the 90s, very few other products. So basically it's themselves working in rather hermetically sealed design yeah. area and, and, and producing, producing these incredible artworks. All right, take us on to the next room. Yeah. So oh, wait, these, do you want to say anything is, about this? Yeah, these, I mean, okay. there's, there's lovely little stories. I mean, th this, this example, this is the Metro tickets. Oh, yes. This is uh, on posh paper. They have different papers. They print them out on it occasionally. But there was a lovely story. I mean, I remember going on the tram when Dan and I were making um, The Game of Their Lives, the first film oh, we yes. made. And uh, uh, they started pushing out all the old people. I said, well, why are you doing that? This, yeah. is, this is, you know, we're, we're trying to film the, the, the atmosphere, normality. They said, no, you're just filming old people to make us look poor. And we said, well, well that's, you know, that's, that's ridiculous. And we didn't know what to do, but our sound man very kindly sort of stood up and just said, aren't you proud of your old people who fought for you in the Korean War there and you built your city? And then suddenly, everywhere we went, old people were being like shoved in front <laughs> of the ground. So a lot with North Korea is, is, is getting them to understand why you're doing something yeah. rather than just a simple, no, you can't do this. And it's the same with everything we've done from my colleague Simon opening up tourism destinations. It's saying, look, we, we want to visit because this, this, and rather than just accept a no, it's working with them to find a way to, to get access, etc. So, you know, and, and over 25 years, it's quite remarkable what you can achieve. You know, things take time. But, uh, I know that uh, things get added to the list of uh, tourist destinations. Have things been removed from the list? Like, for example, yeah, the uh, Sinchon War Museum? Uh... Yeah, things come and go there's, there's, for certain reasons. I mean, it's like films come in, also in North Korea, mainly go. I mean, it's certain films from the early days, like, um, oh, damn, I forgot, I forgot the name, excuse me. Red, Red, Red Leader, I think it's called. You know, there's certain films and some things have been pulled. Yeah. Um, certain sites, yeah, for certain reasons. I mean, Kumgang, for example, was on at one time, but then when, uh, in 2000, it was open to South Korea, we were, all the other um, tourists were taken out from that area. But okay. yeah, there's, there's things, for, it, it does alter up and down. Interesting that some of these uh, invitations and tickets also, uh, um, some have been, uh, yeah, rejected, and we're using reproductions. Yeah, I don't, and I also don't. Yeah, for, I mean, just for certain celebrations, obviously. Mm. The, of of there's a, the, and as everybody knows, with with you know North Korea having you know Chosun and Hanguk, yeah. uh, uh, that's that's an issue. And then celebrating a country that you don't recognise, obviously, sort of. Uh, Gave a you know gave the gave the um, authorities a bit of a thing, but we won't show that. Right. But um, I think it's all it is what it is. I mean, these are all individual inv events that I've been invited to. So again, everything 
shown here is that somehow is something I've been to. It's not stuff I've picked off eBay and what have you. So it's very, it's all personal. That's the ticket there for the girls' performance. From the, uh, the, the state of mind? Yeah, yeah. And so the, the parents actually gave that ticket to you? Well, I nicked it off them. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, it was forced out. And then there's, you know, Pyongyang Circus and uh, there's just the two circuses there. The, the Pyongyang has two circuses. It used to be the military circus, that one, and this is the... This is the circus where we got the girl for, in Comrade Kim Goes Flying, oh, right. Han Jong Sim. Oh. We sort of had to interview the circus people to become uh, actors. That was great fun. Have you ever thrown something away and then regretted it later on? No, but what I have done is I've seen objects that I wish I'd picked up yeah. and didn't. And then for this exhibition, there was one or two pieces, and I knew I had them because, you, you know, they are... If you you know they're quite personal, and I knew I had them, and I couldn't find them, and I thought they had somehow in the moving disappeared, but ah. they've been tracked down recently, ah. and that hurts. Well, you'd know it if yeah. I took one of your, oh, your your comics. So, yeah, there's, I had one that yeah. my cat made a mess of once. Uh. That's another story. <laughs> oh, these these are uh, this is what pe um, people like these. Sort ah. of the, the, this is the royal this royal family stamp. Fascinating. Yeah, the uh, birth of uh, what Prince William, I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I'm not very up on my royals, but yeah, it's there's Lady Di there, and uh, what are royals doing on North Korean stamps? The, these are made for export. So this is this is simply you know the, these aren't circulated in North Korea. It's ah. not if you're one son, you suddenly get a letter from ah. your aunt with the, the royal family on it. So these are made for export. Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. No. Oh, there, yes. And then these are sort of these are lovely sort of postcards with uh, again, again sort of this is so the, the, the sort of these are sort of I mean they're representative of what was going on in history. Right. There's, there's a sort of the, the you know we all career is one, and then. Uh, oh, so we have quite a few here with the birthday of uh, Lee yeah. Kim Il Sung and, and uh, Kim Jong Il there. Yeah. Ten ten the uh, was that Army Day or something or Constitution? Yeah. It's one of the two. I think it's Army Day. I do forget some of my. Ten, uh, ten, 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 yeah, God, you know, it's awful, isn't it? I am, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm God, going you should to know, you're there all the time. <laughs> Now, he, here you've got some uh, lenticular uh, postcards, right? Yeah, uh, North Korean, they have a... I remember this was being a, a, a thing back when I was a child in the 70s and the 80s. You'd, you'd get uh, ones that were 3D, or if you turned them on different angles... Yeah, you, they, they, do, they do... Both here. Right. In fact, when we, early in North Korea, in, the, in '93, at the, at the stamp shop, yeah. you could get yourself with a backdrop of the Jucha Tower, and uh, you get yourself in lenticular 3D really? on Kodak paper. Wow. Yeah, sadly, that's uh, not available now. But that's a great service. But there's some wonderful. I mean, there are amazing scenes that did get through, like this. Oh, yeah. This girl, a human bomb. A human bomb. Yeah, she's clutching she's, some she's grenades and going to blow up an American tank. Um, uh, here we have. For this one, if you look at the wrong angle, it's quite frightening. Uh, from one side, I guess, is it a kitten? The other side, it's a dog. But if you look at it straight on, it's, it's some kind a of a crossbred monster. It's, it's fact, we're, we're, awful. Which actually links back to the uh, the, the Calmari. Yeah. There's also how dangerous it is to ride a motorbike. I think it's is, uh, yeah. What's going? On? This looks like a scene really, out of a kung fu movie. Or but something. I think what it, yeah. I mean, this, this is very much like sort of the style of Order 027. But this is, I mean, Taekwondo, the Korean national sport, right. and, and obviously. Honda motorbikes being quite dangerous. I think it might ride. actually be a nature preservation message. Don't ride your bike through a forest, <laughs> exactly. or a random taekwondo <laughs> expert will come, come and, and take you off out. the bike. Yeah. I think that actually that is the, the exact message that's been given, as, as is the lady here with ginseng. Ah. And uh, there's a lot of, sort of women at work. There's tapestry. Great. And then over here, of course, we've got Arirang, which uh, I went to see in 2010 when I was it's there. The for postcard the first time. sets. Yeah. Ah, okay. Now, this is the greatest spectacle I've ever seen uh, mm. live. It, 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 oh, it is, 100,000 people. But I, I couldn't help but thinking, as I sat there in the in the sense, thinking, how many people have broken limbs or been put out of commission, you know, practicing for some of the, yeah. you know, the flying through the air? And, well, the girl, uh, the girl who actually flies through the air is, it was Han Jong Sim, and she, when we had our premiere of the film, uh -huh. she'd, she'd just been in a, the, the film, Comrade Kim Goes Flying, we had the premiere, and then she had to nip out because she was that girl on the elastic band flying over. Oh, wow. So, okay. So she's still around. So she survived. Yeah, and then also we filmed, of course, for a year, The Kids in a State of Mind. And, that and was a year. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. There's no doubt. If you're practicing on concrete uh, or, or asphalt, mm. it's, it's not, not going to be that forgiving. But, you oh. know, the kids, I mean, it was, I think, you know, that, that film was a fascinating insight into actually how tough it is. So, yes, yeah. kids will get hurt, but uh, the show must go on.
Now, speaking of the show going on, will this show go on after Seoul to another location? I hope so, yeah. I, hope, I actually hope it'll travel elsewhere in South Korea. And then I'd love it to go. It'd be great if it got to the States. Um, that would be because, you know, it's another sort of... Sort of it, it, there's enough interest. There's enough... Of, of, the whole idea of this exhibition is, you know, to show something in between the, the sort of the perceived image we have of North Korea, that there is something else. And, and it, it, you know, I think it appeals to... Obviously, people who have a sort of graphic interest, but more people who just want to sort of understand a little bit more about yeah. a culture that is has only been sold to them in in one way. That's not a wrong way, mm. but it's just not the whole the gambit, Obviously. if you like. Now you've got a, a film being shown here. Yeah, this uh, is a is just recent one. This is uh, Jörg's sort of work that we we produced with him. We we work. Uh, with filmmakers and artists and various others to produce uh, as producers. Now, this and, is a diorama uh, of Pyongyang, isn't it? Sorry, yeah, not this the is this city, city, is it? No, no, this is this. No, no, this is this is city. This is this is Pyongyang. What's the effect that's being used? This is called. This is this basically where you sh you short stop. You 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 create. It's uh, you, you just whack it down. So you, it's called Mini Pyongyang. This is what I mean, the little big world. Wow. You 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 just change the focal. You you film normally, but then right. change the focal length and a few little tricks. And That's so you amazing. get this, this Can people effect. find this on the YouTube? Yeah, on the YouTube they can. Right. For Mini Pyongyang, exactly. little big one. Exactly. All right. And then, and then and another. Yes. Now here we've got some, uh, so some more modern products. Yeah, this yeah. is contemporary packaging. But, but also, essentially, this is traditional, uh, yeah. traditional sort of biscuits that were being made in the 90s. But in, again, they've sort of upped up the packaging for it. Whereas certain projects like the Banana Suite yeah. are very new. It's a couple of Japanese sort of products that you can actually find. But this is some a gum. This is a chewing gum with a Chinese sort of friendship, um, which ah. is a Chinese friendship project. Um, but yeah, no, even, even beer in a can now. So, and this yeah, and I think I've almost Korea. I've seen something like that here in South Korea in the, uh, in the convenience store. In, in, in China now, you can buy, actually buy Taedong beer. Sort of they're, they're, they're actually, yeah, they've, oh. they've pasteurized it and sort of put it out. Now, but I was looking at this uh, product when I came here the other day. Uh, this is um, one of those health energy drinks made with so-called hydrogenated water. It's like yeah. water with extra hydrogen added in it, which I found out through a, a Google search is very popular in Japan, oh, uh, okay. also in South Korea, but has apparently no... Uh, apparent health <laughs> benefits whatsoever. But they're now selling it in North Korea too, hydrogenated water as an energy drink. Have you tried one? I've seen people run a marathon, with it in, a full marathon in 10 minutes after drinking that. Wow. Yeah. Then I'll definitely try one in April. Should do one. Mm. And then over here we, uh, we've got the, uh, the fairy water you were talking about earlier, right? Yeah, this is, this is my fairy liquid. Fairy <laughs> this is basically this is the, the, this is the Korean version of the, 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 the classic Chinese brand of goldfish. Ah, it's, it's just, And then here are your, your onion rings. They do look very similar to the and South Korean good, ones. Yeah, yeah, but then very tasty. Uh, and then, and your, then here's here your sort of not quite your pheasant, but you've still got the lads packed into tins. Right. It's very similar. This this sort of packaging hasn't really changed much. It's a rooster in a can. But but it? all these are very. I mean, these you could be picking up in any you know Seven Eleven over here. Right. Or, or the, elsewhere. Except for the name, because of course in North Korea they yeah. don't say ramen. They say uh, juksok guksu. Yeah, so Instant right. uh, instant noodles. Which is also also. The, the, Ginseng soap. Right, which uh, I bought some of this from Kaesong the last time I was. I know there. you do smell particularly beautiful today, if I may say yes. so, and, and healthy. I, I do feel healthy, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. And then the sort of product, this is also the packaging, but possibly because the machinery has been sort of brought from overseas. So, ah. so but then it's labelled up in Korean design. So we all know very immediately you see what this is. It's going to be something to do with detergents and liquids and wet wipes. Which, yeah, that um, it, a particularly uh, sort of a, a first world decadent product. Very much, right? yeah. The, yeah. The things that... Uh, we have in Western countries. This, that this you'll find in Pyongyang. Yeah. You won't find it. Uh, the big fat burgers. Yeah, you won't. You won't. Find, you'll find this in Pyongyang, but you won't find this sort of if you hit Wonsan or Chongjin. Ah, or okay. So they're limited to certain areas. I know. I just think it's just there's not the market. There isn't the, the money right. there. So. Now, what do you still? I mean, do you still collect? Yeah, still yeah. Le collection? Less so. I mean, I, I actually I had stopped when this, but for this exhibition, we we brought the contemporary pieces because otherwise it would confuse people thinking that that is contemporary, whereas right. in fact this stuff is the contemporary piece. So, but now looking at it, it's yeah. There's maybe one more room to fill. Of of, uh, of, 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 of the modern stuff, objects, right? Objects, yeah. And are there certain objects that you still have your eye out for? Like uh, no, not really. Okay. No, I mean, I, you, you could go on forever. 
have and updated it's, matchboxes, uh, matchboxes. Yeah, boxes. they're all, and there's also, you know, I mean, you, you, there's also, you do, I mean, there are packages that, the, 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 the difference is that this collection was made of stuff that I collected when I was there. Right. The danger is getting in that area where you start going online or start rooting around for things that you really don't have a connection with, but you're trying to get yeah. because you're missing it in your collection. So cigarette packets from the 50s and 60s, uh -huh. gorgeous designs and things. Uh -huh. But if I start going that direction, no, it's, it's no too end. much. We uh, I'll keep, keep that for fine art. Are they making a North Korean uh, Nutella or peanut butter yet? There is a peanut, there is a peanut sort of... Uh, 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 condiment that they do the, and there is a chocolate something but they actually actually they do have Nutella itself for sale in Pyongyang oh. don't quite know how got, yeah, my partner she's Italian and saw it there and was quite surprised quite pleased well I want to thank you uh, for your generous time today for <laughs> guiding us around your uh, exhibition and I do hope it does go uh, around the world a bit more and uh, more people get to see yeah, it yeah thank you very much that's been good thanks fun. for coming on the NK News podcast many thanks Lovely. to listeners and viewers keep listening and uh, next week check out another episode bye 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 <laughs>